Outriders is among some of the big games to be released at the early part of 2021. It is a looter shooter with a strong story and great premise. Many people are excited to get their hands on this game when it is soon released. But before that, I wanted to quickly take a look at 10 things I feel you may need to know about Outriders and why it is definitely a game that should be on your radar. Number 1 Riders is scheduled to be released by Square Enix this coming Thursday on the 1st of April 2021. This date is pretty much locked in stone and at this point it appears that there will be no delay to the game being released on this specific date set by Square Enix. It's also going to be released in most of the world on this particular date so pretty much everyone across the globe can get an opportunity to play Outriders. Number two. One of the coolest things about Outriders is that pretty much everyone can get in on it. The game is available for the PlayStation 4, the PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and not forgetting PC. If you purchase the game on the PS4 or the Xbox One, you can also upgrade to the next gen version for free at a later date. This is great for you guys still struggling to get the PlayStation 5 or the Series S or X right now, so it definitely kind of gives you an incentive to buy the game from now. Number three. From doing my search online, currently it doesn't seem to be no proper special or collector's edition available for Outriders. Some stores are offering a day one edition of the game which comes with a few cosmetic bonuses. There are also various pre-order bonuses available at certain stores as well. And depending on your country, you will have to shop around for the best bonuses. It is strange as Square Enix usually does do great collector's edition, so I'm surprised that they didn't opt to do one for this particular game, but definitely something to keep Keep your eyes out for maybe a future release. Number four. One of the best things about Outriders is that it's not just another looter shooter. While it is technically a looter shooter, a real effort has been made to tell a fun and exciting sci-fi story about a strange planet called Enoch and the special powers that a group of people known as Outriders has obtained. It sounds like it's going to be very, very exciting stuff and something that I'm personally looking forward to dive into. Now, while much of what has been shown of the game has been people talking about how great it is to play with your friends, one of the cool features is the fact that it does implement crossplay, which is fully supported, which I feel is definitely a great feature, and I feel it's something that a lot more games should be doing. It is also worth noting that they have not ignored people who like to play on their own, and you can still have a fun experience playing through the game by yourself. Number six. There are four classes for you to choose from in Outriders. The classes available to you are Devastator, Pyromancer, Technomancer, and not forgetting Trickster. Each class has its own style. Devastator is like a tank and Trickster being more like a hit and run style, for example. Number seven. Each of the four classes has eight different skills that you can make use of as you progress throughout the game. As you level up, you will unlock more skills, so there is a good progression in the game as well. Learning what skills to use in each situation is going to be fun and key to success. Number eight. To me, they have truly crafted a tremendous playground for us in Outriders. The planet was supposed to be a new home for humanity, but things did not go according to plan. What is cool about Enoch is that it is beautiful and deadly at the exact same time, and that to me is definitely an awesome trait. Number nine. 
people like myself were absolutely shocked when it was announced that Outriders would be coming to Xbox Game Pass on day one. This was definitely a huge coup for Xbox and it is probably caused a great deal of people to cancel their pre-order for the game. If you have Game Pass, it makes Outriders even more of an attractive prospect. Number 10. There's no denying that so many gamers out there have fallen in love with Outriders demo. This demo was pretty stacked in terms of what it let you do. The good news is if you do purchase Outriders on the console you play the demo on, all of the progress you've made will be carried over into the full game, which definitely makes it not a waste of time. Anyway peeps, that was just a quick run through of 10 things I feel I wanted to let you know prior to the release of this game which is dropping this week. I actually did want to put this video out last week but time got the better of me so I still thought, you know what, let me still pull it out prior to the game dropping. As always, these kind of top 10 videos is just basically a collection of news videos that I potentially would have put out over the course of the last couple of months or so but I definitely just wanted to clay it into one video and just kind of give you something a little bit more informative with maybe Maybe some details here or there which you may have missed as always do let me know your thoughts if this is a game that is on your radar will you be like me enjoying the fact that you will get a chance to play this game come on game pass on day one and that's the reason why i do really enjoy talking about game pass so much because these are the particular games that definitely add a lot of value to your subscription as always if you did enjoy this very quick urban gameplay video be sure to smash the like button do hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to the channel before and until next video we definitely say peace out, peeps. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for more cool urban gameplay videos.